Husbands, do you know what your wife wants in foreplay? And are you always intentional to make that happen? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you an exact sequence and activities that your wife wants in foreplay. Make sure you stay till the end because I have a best sex ever challenge all set. I'm Mary Whitman Ortiz of Limitless Intimacy, bringing you the best tips and tools so you can create great intimacy in your marriage. On this channel, we share communication strategies and intimacy made simple steps all from a Christian point of view. Hey, and if you're new here, we just invite you to consider subscribing. Okay, back to our question. What does your wife want in foreplay? Hey, get paper and pen out. You're going to want to take notes. So God designed marriage to be this wonderful and rejuvenating experience, that place of intimacy that draws you closer. And sure, it includes procreation, but also passion and pleasure. But maybe that's not happening consistently and uh, you're not even sure why. So check out this list, this um, sequences and activities that you can be doing in foreplay and hopefully that gets you and your marriage to a better place. Are you ready? <clears throat> Here we go. Number one is affection. Affection. So this includes saying sweet and kind words. Um, she knows that you're after her heart more than just her body when you are including affection. And this can definitely start outside the bedroom. Hey, let that affection just happen all the time. Let that back burner burn just keep on going if affection is there. So it's the tone of your marriage all throughout the day, all throughout the week, forever. Affection. Get good at it. All right. Number two, flirtation. Tease with her. Be playful. And this can be words and touch that are just um, light and casual and get her attention. This also usually happens before the bedroom. Are you getting value from this? I hope so. If you are, will you give us a thumbs up and put in the comments, hmm, do you use cheesy or dad joke types of flirtation? Who's going to own up to that? All right, number three. Ooh, we're moving in. Here we go. Light and indirect touch. Now we are quite possibly in the bedroom. So this is those areas that are going to awaken her senses. The, this touching is going to include um, maybe your fingertips on her neck, on the inside of her arms, um, her inner thighs. Definitely we've got some kissing going on at this place, but I have not said anything about genitals. The genitals are not the bullseye. Not yet. We are doing light and indirect touch at this point. And when it seems like that is going well, okay, we can move on to number four. I've got five. Hold on. Number four is variety. She could be ready to mix it up. Yes, you can keep on with that light touch, but throw in some direct touch with her genitals. Um, you have to be mindful of what the intensity is. You're not there yet. You are building, building, building. Uh, the intensity and the touch, you, you just mix it up. You know, it's light, it's indirect, and then whoosh, you can make direct contact with genitals. Let your kissing mirror the types of touching that you're doing. One more thought about this phase of variety. Include pauses. Her body needs to adjust so it can respond, and it's not all at once, and she is a fine machine to give time to. Don't you agree? Now, maybe 
Woo! Talking this specifically about sex has not been in your wheelhouse. A lot of couples are uncomfortable. They just feel like it's awkward, it's embarrassing. I mean, maybe they have things from their past that just make this difficult. So you need the fast track to better communication package. It's five communication tools, a plan on how to use it, and a bonus ebook, God's Gift to Marriage. It includes a sexual playlist tool. So you can get specific on what do you call sexual body parts and sexual activities. Maybe you just need language. Just being able to say it out loud is going to um, make things faster and better for you. I know this much. It is guaranteed to help you talk about sex in a way that's good for both of you. And listen, this whole package is a value of $97, but for a limited time, I have offering it for $27. I mean, that is a screaming deal. Check the links below. It can be ready for you right now. And I can't wait to hear what amazing things it's going to do for your marriage. But I've got one more step for you. Number five, direct stimulation. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the bullseye. This is when all of those levels of touch can be increased. This is when her genitals are, and yours, are ready to be included in all of the, the love making, the attention. Just remember, you don't start there. This was step five. There is some building up to get to this place. And then after that, hey, you are ready for mutual um, satisfaction. You are ready to consider what other activities are we going to try? What other positions do we want to try? But those beginning steps are critical to make the whole lovemaking um, experience be wonderful for you. All right. Are you ready for the best sex ever challenge? Here we go. I want you to think about those levels of touch. And for one week, I want you to stay way back there at level two. That is the light and indirect touch. If you stay extra long at that level, I just bet that you will skip over some steps that it will supercharge you and get you to immediate pleasure. So the challenge, stay at the level two, light and indirect touch as long as you can. And I am going to be woohoo excited for you and those great results for your marriage. Remember, God's design for sexual wholeness in marriage is fulfilling and thrilling intimacy.